Thank you. Mm, nice office. Hello. So you are? I'm Verity. Verity. I know that you're working on Best of Africa. Tell me how that's going. We did the event at the Savoy for 250 people. So it was really fantastic. And we had lots of uh, football players and uh, VIPs in attendance. And it was absolutely great to generate some reappraisal for Brand Africa and get, you know, new dialogues going on. I'm intrigued by this relationship you have with sports. When did it start? The business side of affairs rather recently. Mm -hmm. I'd say maybe going back about eight years. Football in an amazing way unites great parts of the continent. So for me, football and footballers became very important when I was working at the African Union because I was thinking about how much we had these fantastic projects that we were working on. There were these amazing things that we were doing that were supposed to be about making Africa emerge, find itself, find its inner zen. And yet we weren't using the people who had the most influence. So I had relationships with quite a few players through the other business which we have with my cousin. And I thought, well, how do we speak with them about the things that really matter to their brothers and sisters? Because they were already working in this space, but usually quite privately. And so I thought I'd set up something that would amplify, assimilate all their various efforts. What I'm asking these players to do is to say, while the spotlight is on you, would you be so kind as to share your stage with a doctor, a dentist, an architect, a pharmacist, whomsoever, be they from Uganda, from Tanzania, from Ethiopia, from Sudan, from Egypt, from South Africa. So I have this dinner thing we do at the end of the season. It's called the Best of Africa Dinner Awards. And what we try to do is get the players together. Tell me about the other businesses you run. With my cousin, we have a car business. We do car customization. He is like a super car nut. At the beginning, it was a passion. He was like our resident celebrity. I remember like when Channel 5 was launching in this country, he was the face of Channel 5. Oh, wow. He was like the first black guy to do the Armani catwalk. Um, all that kind of block. So he was like my super cool cousin. Mm -hmm. And then one day he was just like, I'm tired of this shallow world and this. And he's always loved cars. And he sells them or how does it work? He sells some, hires them out for videos. And then we have, because there's so many of them and they're all so different, he set up a museum so people can just pop in and take a look. And then on the margins of that, we have a customization company where we source secure and customize vehicles for a lot of the sportsmen, so. How did you get into that business? Just by being his brother. <laughs> <laughs> What else do you do? Anything related to Africa and its emergence, I have a vested interest in. Wow, this is an interesting lot. It's not bad. What, what's this one? It's a smart car. Ah, I like my the kind of car. Your kind of car. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you're a smart guy. Yeah, hey, that's, the one, that's the one, <laughs> cool. Nice. This is London Motor Museum. Who runs it? <laughs> My cousin Elo, why oh, okay. don't, I'll take you upstairs okay, to cool. the office. Sexy cars for the stars. Oh, wow, that is, is that him? Hmm. Hello, hi, how are you? Yo. Here we go. What's up, man? This is Elo. Nice it, to meet it's you. It's nice to meet you too. Oh, wow, well, are these guys... all original jerseys? Yes, yes. And this is on. one we did for Samoletto. This is his car in Cameroon, and... Um, in Cameroon? Yeah. Wow. And he wanted an Escalade, not like any... You know, Escalades are among, one of the most famous, I would say, high net worth, yes. four by fours. Yes. And he loves traveling first class. So he wanted... These are actually Air France seats wow. from Air France. So um, we built this specifically for him. We have one in the museum, which is a black oh, version of this exact it. same car. When did you start building this business? Well, we moved here in 2007 mm. from a little warehouse in the west of London. Mm. 
And my dream was to set the museum so that it becomes a more interactive museum and more interesting. So I took on to building the cars that I always wanted to have. And by so doing, I built other cars that I did for high net worth individuals, which kind of funded me mm -hmm. to have what I needed to have for the museum. Yeah. And all of this you created purely out of what was in your heart. You Correct. just wanted yes. to it's do a, something. It's, it's being the, to having the the satisfaction of doing what you like, then you know if you don't make money by doing what you like, you're still having the best time of your life. Interesting. I would and never have thought of it that way. Yeah. So yeah, mm -hmm. this is the uh, Cadillac, which you saw upstairs in the white version, but oh. this is the black version. So oh, this nice. is the sister of the white car. Only two cars like that ever built. The vehicle Ooh. inside. Can I step in? Yes, for sure. You have an internet capability here. With a TV, you can surf the net whilst you're driving. So it's a, no, it's a driving office. We call it a presidential escalate because there's nothing better than this in the world. If you had a chance, and if you, if you just assumed that all the most important people in Africa were watching this show right now, what is the one thing you would look into the camera to say to them? We must stop speaking about our potential and recognize that we already have the talent and the competence. And so let's steal something from Nike, just to. So on that note, should we go for a ride? I think so. Where are we going? Africa. Africa, here we come. Nice.